Any point? It looks like a maturity here. That is. It's a buck. God, that's him. That's what I got. Dude, I just didn't know big bucks would come out tonight. into it for me. <laughs> yeah, he turned right into it. <gasps> Man, it got happen quick. I was like, you said buck. I was like, that's a big buck. You said buck. <laughs> he come out, I saw the drop time or the flyer. I mean, that, that was like, oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> November 30th. October 30th, I should say, and uh, we shot our deer last night. Uh, I hit a limb ever so slightly. I'm not sure it had a huge effect on the arrow. It's not what I'm trying to say, but when we hit that limb, the deer started dropping, and because he was at a good distance, he basically dropped out of sight. We did the old trick of marking where my arrow was and marking that on a deer. Had he not moved, we would have at a quartering away, would it up through the, the guts and right up into the vital area. But that didn't happen. He dropped severely. We hit him in the back. So I'm not hiding, holding high hopes of finding this deer. But we got five or six of us here. Um, we're going to look heavily and uh, see what, what we got here. We're still holding out. We're hoping out, I should say. For fly guy, he's uh, one of the ones that we hit over this uh, fall here uh, during archery season, and didn't get him. He ducked my arrow and hit him high. So he's been here twice, two days in a row. That's it. Uh, we have set up another blind though for next week, late season muzzleloader season, and hopefully he'll show up between that bean field or this food plot here. So playing the game. It's what we always do. Sometimes we win, sometimes we don't. Well, so far so good. It's 3.48 and we probably have way too many deer in front of us, to be honest with you. That and the big flock of turkeys, probably the biggest flock of long beards I've ever seen. Um, don't want to throw out numbers because I didn't count, but there's a lot. I got a bunch of bucks, just all young, some good looking ones. Short brown, or short uh, G210, it's pretty nice. Got a lot of up and comers, so. Just sit back and let Mother Nature do her job. Hopefully, one of the bigger bucks come over. Looks like a maturity here. That is. It's a buck. God, that's him. That's what I got. Dude, I just didn't know big bucks would come out tonight. Right now, I don't, I, I, when you can't see, you can't see. It's like, <laughs> uh -oh. I see the whites. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, baby. Did you get him? Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe. Sure. His horns are, yeah, his horns stuck. are stuck. How did he get in there? <laughs> he didn't break anything, did he? <laughs> Look at that flyer. The end of the story for Fly Guy. Fly Guy, what a story, huh? From last year, he was on the most eastern portion of our farm and it only came on us a couple times. To this year, showed up a few more times. We put a game plan together to hunt him on that side of the farm, which is very difficult for us to get into to hunt him. We got on him during bow season finally, and he actually showed up more towards the west in the middle of our farm on a, on a, a food plot we call Gate Gap, which Tyler actually caught it. The camera guy he said, he'll end up on Gate Gap. I said, he's never been there, Tyler. He's barely been on us at all. Showed up for two days, so we knew he was alive. And we got a couple more pictures of him. And the game plan was we have a bean food plot on that eastern side of the farm. And we were gonna hunt him over there, we, but we were gonna put a new blind in. And either Dan or Gerps, one of those two said, let's not put the blind in until the day before when you hunt the gate gap in case we bump him. I gotta tell you, <laughs> I still believe firmly that's what they did. When they put that blind in there today, that's what happened. They bumped him over to us. So just incredible deer, great story. One of the first deer we've had that we've shot at in 15 to 20 years that we didn't, that we didn't get. And we ended up getting him about a month later. So just what a great story. Guess what? We never apologize for our guard giving right to hunt. 